I am glad you are enjoying yourself. The Salvationist is the friend of happiness. Making heaven on earth is our business. Serve the Lord with gladness is one of our favorite mottoes. So I am pleased that you are pleased. But amidst all your joys, don't forget the sons and daughters of misery. Do you ever visit them? Come away and let us make a call or two. There is a home, six in family. They eat and drink and sleep and sick and die in the same chamber. There is a drunken novel, void of furniture, wife of skeleton, children in rags, father maltreating the victims of his neglect. Here are the unemployed, wandering about, seeking work and finding none. Yonder are the wretched criminals, cradled in crime, passing in and out of the prison all the time. There are the daughters of shame, deceived and wronged and ruined, traveling down the dark in blind to an early grave. There are the children, fighting in the gutters, going hungry to school, going up to fill their parents' places. Brought it all on themselves, do you say? Perhaps so. But that does not excuse our assisting them. You don't demand a certificate of virtue before you drag the drowning creature out of the water, nor the assurance that a man has paid his rent before you deliver him from the burning building. But what shall we do? Content ourselves by singing a hymn, offering a prayer, or giving a little good advice? No. Ten thousand times no. We will pity them, feed them, reclaim them, employ them. Perhaps we shall fail with many, quite likely. But our business is to help them all the same. And that in the most practical, economical, and Christ-like manner. So let us hate to the rescue for the sake of our own peace. The poor wretches themselves, the innocent children, and the savior of us all. The you must help with the means, and as there is nothing like the present, who in this company will lend a hand by taking up my collection?